Years removed from the side of a poet. I didn't know it. I didn't show it. Now years later trying to rekindle the flow, it is not so easy. Hope I didn't blow it. You see the poet in me lost, an enigma treasure intertwined once with my soul. Complacency froze me whole for all my passions, what it stole. Once burned inside like coal, hot as the depths of devil's sheol. Take my word as if it were scroll, not to convince you, rather myself, be it my goal. A friend of mine sent me a gift, by a friend I speak of he with three, letters which define his greatness, El Jefe, G-O-D. You see, I speak so free of he with letters only three. He sent a friend with a message, a message meant from he to she to me. I run a business, you see. Now it's small time, but we're getting there. This I know. Like an award-winning garden, we planted the seeds, we water it daily. It gets sun, we're certain it'll grow. But I digress back to she who spoke of a place out on the town. She had the opportunity to visit. It's called the Poetry Lounge. Now, any lounge has got to be cool. I'm thinking cigarette butts, music, drinks, girls, and such. But frequenting a lounge, um, it's not exactly something I frequent much. But in the interest of the business, the right guys you see don't forget the Z. Some FaceTime with some poets, maybe get them to write for us. Who knows? Sounded pretty good to me. With a meeting the next day, the 9P to 12P time slot did little to appeal to the guys and I. Yet from the moment we were standing in line, two hours early, mind you, I felt invigorated by the energy of the poets. I ain't gonna lie. Crooked hats, socks to knees, winter coats, tiny shorts to tees, hair like Macy Gray, Erica Badu, and pink mixed with M&M. This describes the poets standing in line, wearing Chuck Taylor shoes. They were all poets, each and every one of them. It reminded me of the days I played student in college. That's when my passion for writing was at its peak. Poem after poem, I jotted down several throughout each and every week. The cold on Fairfax in front of the lounge had my guys cutting glass and pacing as if they had to pee. We met an interesting cat. Stephen Miles was his name. Kind of looked like a character from Glee. A more raw and undefined character. I'm telling you, I could see the passion in his veins. He talked fast, reminded me of the movie 8 Mile, told us his life story, which sadly was filled with pain. But this poet didn't know it. He loved spitting and traveling venue to venue. Oh no, this guy wasn't a taco stand. You know, the ones that sell only three items. Not Miles, he was several restaurants rolled into one, spitting menu after menu. It was time. We entered the lounge, beats bumping, the stage looked like something I'd seen on BET. Nice seat for us to sit on. If you were late, well, you've got to sit on stage on these beanbags. We got there early to avoid that, got a heads up from she. On stage? No way, not us three. The host began and she had jokes. I must say, she was pretty funny, thick but gorgeous in many ways. As for some of those about to spit, uh, they've seen better days. Guess looks and appearance is secondary to their voice and words being heard. They are there to express what others don't understand. As one person said to me in line, this is where they feel free as a bird. One after another, chuckle after chuckle, poet after host. It's like when the caged birds were let out to sing, I felt like I could see Maya Angelou and Shakespeare's ghosts. It was a $5 entry to each poet's heart and soul. I can speak for myself when I say if I was empty lacking passion, I left the lounge holistically whole. It was the best damn $5 spent, and the guys agreed even though poetry isn't their niche. The poets on the stage didn't know us. Heck, we were strangers at the door. Yet they accepted us and gave us a gift. Energized, invigorated, filled with passion, humbled and pleased, the lounge is about as cool as it gets, about as cool as a summer breeze. So from she to he to me, from me to you, I say to thee. To the lounge, I say to flee. It's five dollars, folks. Best you'll ever spend. Shit might as well be free. 9P to 12P every Tuesday night.